On April 14th, singer Katy Perry and five others completed a successful all-female trip to the edge of deep space. The brief foray into space was on board a vessel from Blue Origin, the space company that's owned by the Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. I feel super connected to love. So connected to love. I think this experience has shown me you never know how much love is inside of you, like how much love you have to give mm -hmm. and how loved you are until the day you launch. Perry was part of Blue Origin's all-women space mission, which included Jeff Bezos's fiance, Lauren Sanchez, journalist and TV host Gail King, civil rights advocate Amanda Guken, film producer Carrie Ann Flynn and entrepreneur, former NASA rocket scientist Aisha Bo. The mission, which lasted for around 11 minutes, involved the new Shepard rocket taking the women more than 100 kilometers above Earth, crossing an internationally recognized boundary of space known as the Kármán Line and offering a few minutes of weightlessness before they descended. I don't have, I, I can't put it into words but like I looked out the window and we got to see the moon and it was so pink was it pink the full moon it wasn't pink but it was almost full and um earth looked so it was so quiet with the success of this mission blue origin has now taken 52 people past the edge of earth's atmosphere Bezos was among the first passengers on its first crewed mission in 2021. These missions reflect the growing interest in space tourism, providing everyday people a chance to live out their astronaut dreams by sending them into space. So there are two main types of space tourism, suborbital and orbital. The suborbital spacecraft takes passengers just beyond the Kármán line. Passengers get to spend a few minutes in space and then come back to Earth, which is what Katy Perry did. Then there's the orbital spacecraft, which takes passengers much further than the Kármán line. Passengers usually can spend from a couple of days to more than a week at an altitude of nearly 1.3 million feet. There are three major private players in the space travel industry, Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin and SpaceX. So if you have dreams of blasting off to orbit, you likely need to have either very deep pockets or a name that's recognizable enough to get you invited as an honored guest. While Blue Origin hasn't disclosed the exact cost of its civilian mission, the website says applicants must pay a whopping $150,000. In Indian rupees, it's 1.28 crores as a refundable deposit. On its first crude flight in 2021, Blue Origin had auctioned off a seat for $28 million. That's a whopping 241 crores. Virgin Galactic, meanwhile, has sold a 90-minute ride to suborbital space for $450,000, 3.85 crores per seat. So space perspective charges can be $125,000, 1.07 crore rupees per person on a six-hour journey to the stratosphere in a balloon-borne pressurized capsule. Then there's Axiom Space, a Texas startup that's been marketing a 10-day trip to space for $55 million. So experts have noted that the cost of space travel will only reduce as more and more space companies enter the field and launches become more frequent. Now, while this entire industry, that's right, there's actually a space travel industry, was valued at $848.28 million in 2023, it reached $1.3 billion last year, according to a report by Research and Markets. By 2030, the industry is estimated to touch $6.7 billion, growing at the rate of 31.6% between 2024 and 2030. So that's a 31.6% growth rate. So currently, space tourism is clearly accessible only to the super rich. Blue Origin's latest flight did receive a lot of flack due to its lack of accessibility as those on board it were either millionaires or celebrities. And watching from the ground were also recognizable faces, Chloe Kardashian, Kris Jenner, Oprah Winfrey. And so that raised further eyebrows. Environmentalists have also slammed the damage caused by rockets emitting gaseous and solid chemicals directly into the upper atmosphere. 
And that's why environmentalists remain skeptical, repeatedly highlighting that the money and resources spent on such recreational trips could be of much better use to push climate and environmental action on Earth. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.